y'all getting ready to have a special impromptu guest, Pastor John J. Tatum is coming. Once we get him in the room. Matter of fact, I'll invite some more folks, okay? Y'all come on in. Come see what the queen doing. She listening to Jesus. You want me to take yours or take his? Because I think I'm only going to be able to bring one in with me. I see queen's invite. I need to see pastor's invite. Okay, bring them on camera and all right. <laughs> all right, we got it. Hey, hey, bless your sister, sister Shinova. We appreciate you. Hey, bless you, sister. Bless you, sister. We um, truly appreciate you reaching out to us and said you had uh, heard the music and heard the songs. And it's something I've been doing for many, 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 many years, singing and praising the Father and, and lifting up the Most High, worshiping Him in spirit and in truth. And, bringing people to a knowledge and understanding of what truth truly is. So we appreciate you and uh, your spirit and your energy. Your, your, your energy and your spirit and your enthusiasm is truly contagious. <laughs> and you just... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when I was younger, I was had to be about uh, eight or nine, and I started learning how to play the piano for my sister. She was the one that was actually the, the musician in the house. And uh, I listened to her many days playing um, Hill Street Blues theme songs on the piano, uh, 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 Barney Miller on the bass on the piano. And I heard her messing up and making mistakes. And I said, you know what? I probably can learn how to do that a little bit better than you. And uh, she said, if you think it's so easy, come on up there and I put your hands on the keyboard. <clears throat> and um, she ended up putting her hands on the, putting my hands on the keyboard and, and uh, the rest is history. We started learning how to play and, and do that. And uh, as I began to increase in knowledge and understanding of music and understand playing, my mother used to <coughs> go through these um, spouts of depression, my mom. And uh, she used to have these spouts of depression where she would go into serious depression. And uh, she said the only thing that lifted her up out of her depression was when she heard me get on the piano and start playing in our in our living room. So uh, it's almost like David and, and uh, Saul, when he was the king, he had all these these spirits come to vex him. And uh, he sent for somebody who was anointed, uh, uh, like a David, anointed minstrel that would come and play. And as uh, David played, the evil spirits that was on Saul would eventually leave him because of the anointing of the music and the, and the inspiration of what uh, David was playing. So just like um, our brother, dear brother David, my mother used to say those same things about me. She used to say, son, just get on there and play. And I, before I know it, she was crying and she was getting a release. She was happy. And then she would go bake some cookies. Come on, hear somebody. Okay. <laughs> you did the same thing for us. If ain't nobody ever told you, because I wouldn't know all of that background. I just told her to go to you and practice. Yeah. <laughs> And I mean, you play the song to sound just like the records. You sound just like the Kirk Franklin who was dancing to and all that other stuff. You have an amazing ear. So to see that you've taken that to the next level, I already know that you are an educated man. I already know you're a man of God. I ain't have to worry about those things. But you know, all of that together in this project, 
Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is a, a, a older song that I um, actually recorded about 10 years ago and um, I was looking for it and I ended up um, uh, finding it. I was, I had a, um, a couple of, I guess a couple of months ago, I had a, had a dream and uh, the father was dealing with me uh, in the dream about uh, the songs that I have wrote already. And he said a lot of the music that uh, we've been writing and putting out have been very pro prophetic, prophetic type of things. And um, looking at what's going on in our time, the father just sort of used that dream to tell me like, these are songs that you need to, to get back out and, and need to really push and, and use to, to really speak prophetically uh, to his people. And um, we're still walking here. I got to look both ways. Right. Yeah. I don't want to get hit by no car. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but nevertheless, um, in the dream, he was, he was telling me that there's a series of songs that I need to start pushing and really bring it to the, to the forefront to really uh, speak prophetically to the people. And uh, this was one of the songs I had been trying to find uh, the copy of this song, and I couldn't find it nowhere. And I was like, <laughs> where is this song? And you I so know, happened to like four, five times you be misplaced. Yes, I'm yes, right. yes, yes. So I, I eventually uh, found the copy of it. it. Was on my computer. I was going through my computer, going through the files, and uh, I was working on some other songs because I'm writing. Um, I wrote a, a um, about six songs for uh, a, a guy by the name of Prince Sar Amiel. <coughs> he wrote a book called War, Destiny, and Freedom, and that CD should be out in the next few weeks called War, Destiny, Freedom. He wrote a book dealing with the Hebrew Israelites' victory. And uh, he's dealing with the whole idea of the war that we came, uh, uh, came through and came in because we came here as prisoners of war. Whether you believe it, know it, or understand it, we came as prisoners of war. And because we came as prisoners of war, uh, uh, it, it required our, our destiny uh, uh, was that we would ultimately walk into freedom. So we've been here 400 years uh, in, a, in, a, in a, uh, a country that really don't respect us, that really don't uh, recognize who we truly are as the people of the Most High, the people of Yah. And uh, they're waking up and realizing that these people that uh, they have in their midst, uh, when they see injustice being done, that these people will rise up. And they will show out because enough is enough. And uh, we've been going through all kind of captivity and all kind of situations dealing in this country. Uh, but nevertheless, the brother wrote the book War, Destiny, and Freedom, and I wrote the soundtrack to that to that um, that book. So so that that that'll be coming out in a few weeks. But this song revival that you're playing now was one of the songs that the father was dealing with me in the dream, telling me you gotta get that song back out so people can hear it and understand it from the understanding that you have now. And there's a great awakening that's happening all over the world. People are waking up, finding out things that they thought was true are really lies. And things that they thought was actually something that uh, was something significant and something that was, they had been sort of patterning their life after of all these years. They finally realized and, and, and came to the understanding that a lot of things they've been doing all their life has been lies. And uh, the lies are being uncovered every single day. And uh, something about truth is that no matter how much truth is suppressed, it's slowly rising to the foundation. It's rising to the top because the buoyancy in the truth is going to not be um, um, pushed under for so long or held down for so long, but the truth and the buoyancy in the truth is going to always rise to the top. So there are people. Right. Yeah, so we. I also wanted to let my viewers know because I do have family members who don't go to nobody church. And I don't right. tell nobody who to praise their pieces to. So if y'all right. feel having dialogue, we are really just talking about we are two truth seekers. You know what I'm right. saying? We walk right. in our shoes, we fall on our face, and we and this brother get right. We pick each other up. I'm a friend of his spouse. And he'll meet my husband when he's ready to walk with me. That's just what it is. So we are talking and having conversations about life. And this song, Revival, made me feel 
a whole new level of not wanting to be down and disappointed. You go to revivals once a year, depending on what church you go to. Or yes, yes. Depending, depending. You can have a revival every day if that's what you want. Right. Right, right. That's what that song is really talking about. I was at one of those type of meetings like that where this song was sort of birthed at and uh, we were dealing with only a revival for one week. But the revival that the Father is bringing us into is a revival that's not going to last for one week. You know, we used to those one week revivals, those three day revivals. But but this revival that the Father is, is talking about and pushing us towards is a revival that's going to happen every day, uh, happen, happen for eternity. It's a, it's, a, it's a revival that's going to be an endless revival, and everybody understands revival and what that means and, and how that, you know, makes you feel good when you're going out to be refreshed, you're going to be revived. You know, uh, it was a, a brother in, name, in, in the Bible named Ezekiel, and, uh, and Ezekiel was dealing with this whole idea of saying, can these bones, can these dry bones live? And he was talking about really the children of Israel. Can these dry bones live? And he said, only you know if they could live. Only you know. He said, told Ezekiel, well, prophesy to the dry bones. And then when he began to prophesy to these dry bones, they began to come together bone by bone, bone by bone. Skin color came upon them. And then the breath of Yah breathe into them the breath of life and they begin to stand up an exceeding great army so that's what this song is dealing with it's talking about being revived not only from the inside out but it's a complete revival it's a complete revival in your mind sometimes we need our minds to be transformed and be renewed in the word <clears throat> and that's what happens when we begin to enter into this new revival. It's going to be an endless revival where we're going to be refreshed. We're going to be revived. We're going to be renewed. And our hearts are going to truly understand the truth and walk in it. Hallelujah. Yes, that's right. what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking this time. We're going to do a formal one on Monday. Okay. But I wanted to break your song. On my platform, because that's what I do. Yeah, that's I, right. You know, and then maybe say, you know, I want to pick it up later. I'm calling out names. Maybe WBOM wants to play it on Sunday. Hallelujah. You never know. You know, no. All you right. Know. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I appreciate that, sister. Thank Love you, too. And we will talk to yes. you on Monday. All right, Shalom. I hope I wasn't too out of breath as I was talking, but I am no. walking. My space, and you're trying to get your fitness on. On my couch, sipping on a fry paste from McDonald's. Yes, man. All right, dear brother John Tatum. Well, bless you. Pastor John Tatum. You have a blessed night and tell your queen good night and your family and everybody I love you. Hey, will do. Shalom, shalom to all the people that's watching and listening. It's revival. It's time to be revived. Peace yes. and blessings. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs>
y'all praise God. Lead us to listening. Y'all can do it on the YouTube. Yeah, we can do the collection play for this. or your re-release of It's a Revival. And I can't wait for us to do the one-on-one, -on -one more in-depth interview on Monday. And good luck and blessings, because I think that this is the it for you. You got it, you got it. And we just gonna keep on speaking into fruition. That's what we gonna do. He said shalom, and I'm gonna say good night and good blessings to all. So I have another pro conference call to make. All right, y'all. Good night, and thank you for tuning in to Snow in the House. <laughs>